vuelta y vive. Gotta live, gotta breathe, gotta eat, gotta dar la vuelta y vive. All right, well, Dalla Vuelta y Vive, we're here um, on a brand new podcast bringing you uh, this this week. We're starting uh, we're starting a, a new um, uh, segment of Dalla Vuelta y Vive, and uh, we're trying new equipment. We're trying new things. We're bringing a brand new uh, feel to uh, Dalla Vuelta y Vive. And, and uh, what we are doing, and this is, and I, I have to, I have to ask, please subscribe, subscribe to the, to uh, click the subscribe button. I don't know where it's at. I don't know where Victor has it. Click on it, click on it, become a part of La Cruzada Radio, become a crusader. The, it, it, you know, when we're looking at La Cruzada, it's more than just a radio station and it's more than just this Dalla Vuelta y Vive show. We have other shows uh, that we have. We have uh, a show in the morning with uh with my dad Hugo de la Cruz it's called Despierta con Jesus wake up with Jesus and it's a whole bunch of beautiful music that you're going to enjoy you're going to hear the word from a uh, 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 an ordained deacon and uh and not only that but you're going to get that true spirit of of feeling Jesus in your heart you know wake up in the morning you're going to start your day it's going to be an awesome day okay Despierta con Jesús. Then you also have a um, uh, football scoreboard that's coming up. That's going to be a part of La Cruzada Radio also. You're going to have another special show with myself where I'm going to be, um, this will be completely different what I'm doing right now. It's going to be more of a little tasting situation here. I'm going to be tasting some some tequilas I'm going to bring in. I like, I, 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 like, I love tequila. I love tequila. So um, we still don't have the name for that show, but um It'll be a podcast that is going to introduce different tequilas and um, and then I'm going to get fucked up with them. And, and then we'll talk about it and see what we go through, right? And uh, not all the tequilas that I've tasted, I can tell you the truth, are good. And, and I'll, be, I'll be candid with that and I'll tell you straight up. But uh, there's going to be, and, and believe me, I can start, I have, um, I have a freaking library of tequilas that I can start off with. Um, and so I, I'm not a drunk, but I do love to taste and, 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 uh, drink the tequila. So that that's coming, coming soon, but you have to subscribe. You have to take the opportunity right now to subscribe, uh, to Dalla Vuelta y Vive, La Cruzada Radio. Um, we're going to go like, like I said, you're going to see new and improved uh, uh, apps out there, and uh, and this is coming soon. This is coming soon. Right now, you can get out there. You can get La Cruzada apps. You can download La Cruzada radio. You can uh, listen to us on La Cruzada, or you can watch us on YouTube. Uh, you can watch us on different platforms, and and that's what it's about. Okay. So so, you know, last time we talked, we talked and uh, got a little bit kind of emotional because we were talking about. Um, we're talking about the Boston Marathon and, and everything that, that, that went on with the uh, Boston Marathon bombing. But today I wanted to talk about, um, about a launch that was supposed to happen a few days back. Uh, and this launch was um, something that's going to take us into the future, that's going to take us up into this space. Uh, it's going to make it quicker. It's going to make it more accessible. And uh, it's something that we're searching for. Okay, so completely different getting away from uh, what I was talking about and getting away from the negative thoughts and thinking to myself, okay, you know, people look at at this guy, uh, Elon Musk, and some people look at him as a philanthropist. Some people look at him as a loony. Some people look at him as a rich guy or some people just want to be near him or some people um, as the... Some people want to be near him because they want a little bit of what he's smoking uh, and see if it makes a difference in their lives. But I'll tell you one thing. If you want to smoke, smoke. If you want to experience something new, you really don't have to smoke. But if you smoke, it kind of opens up your mind. But if you don't want to go that route, it's still going to freaking open up. You still just got to open up your mind. You can have a drink, right? And then say to yourself, ah, I'm going to open up my mind. I'm going to start talking about crap. And, and then it's going to come up. But, but this is the thing. This guy 
he makes it and, and and I can imagine. I think it takes it. We can if uh, I don't know. Is there is there a documentary of Elon Musk? Do you know? I, I I haven't seen. I know you can do some research online and stuff, and maybe find a lot of stuff. But I can imagine Elon Musk uh, when he was a kid, and I can imagine the damn different things that he did, man. And without even fucking knowing him, I can tell you. If he got a bottle rocket, he had to a freaking, and I know this is kind of weird and it's going to sound kind of weird, but I know he had to at least, I don't know if I'm sound cruel or anything, but I know he tied up a freaking, at least one of those plastic soldiers onto a bottle rocket and freaking shot it up in the sky once or twice. Maybe he tried something living like a freaking lizard or some shit, but I mean, I don't know. I, I, I don't know. That would be kind of weird, right? Because normally those people end up being like murderers or something. But, um, but he, uh, what I'm talking about is his mind is opening, open the the open mind that he has. Do you think that somebody like Elon Musk worries about sitting by a Mexican and eating enchiladas? Do you think he worries about? whether the police are doing their jobs or not, he trusts that every, and, and that, th this is what I think. I think he trusts that everybody, that everybody is doing their job, that everybody has and plays an important part in life, okay? So I just signed up right now to a, to a class with Matthew McConaughey, and I listened to a couple of things that he said, Victor, and... Uh, You know, it's I'm excited because I'm gonna I'm gonna take that class with him, and uh, it's about living, and uh, living in today's world, and wanting to do the things that maybe uh, sometimes we put a lot of like obstacles into trying to accomplish different things. So if you come to my house right now, I'm a big guy. I'm about 225 pounds right now. No, no, seriously, I'm 225, dude. No, seriously, I am. No, neta. I'm 225. I was 245. Now I'm 225. Damn it, boy. Freaking believe me, fucker. Este vato. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay. So even if I was 245, the kayak can hold up to 255. All right. <laughs> so I'm taking a friend. If you come to my house right now, you'll see a freaking kayak in front. Okay. I've been behind, I've been after a freaking kayak for over freaking uh I want to say three or four years. In my mind I've been like, "Chinga, I want to get one. I want to get one. I see it. I go in there. I go online and I look at the kayaks and I like, oh, "Okay, I'm gonna, uh, I want to get this one or, you know, and here I am. Here I am looking and looking for three years I'm looking. And uh I saw a whole bunch of them. I ended up just saying, "You know what? Fuck it, I'm gonna buy it." I went out there, I found one on, on the market, I got out there, I got it. I wanted one that had everything that was already rigged up with everything, with the, with the seed and the, all the kayak uh, accessories, because I'm just like that, you know. So I wanted to fucking have that. So I get this kayak and it's sitting up in front, okay. I haven't used it. I've had it for like three weeks already. And it's, it's sitting there. And uh, Victor asked me a while ago and says, hey, was, how come you didn't take it? I, was, I just came from the beach. And says, how come you didn't take it to the beach? And I'm like, I'm not scared. Well, what the hell are you scared of? One, I'm scared that I wasn't scared like of falling or anything. I'm scared that I'm going to get stopped by the Coast Guard uh, or the game warden and they're going to give me a ticket. It doesn't matter that I fucking know like half of the freaking JPs in, in Cameron County and and probably I wouldn't even fucking pay the ticket. But just the fact that I wanted to do things the right way, right? So I, I don't have the flare gun and I don't have the horn boot, the one that goes off real loud and shit in case there's a barge or something, right? And it can't see you. But nevertheless, I, I, I'm not ready yet. Like I'm not ready. Maybe it's that I'm 240. No, I'm 225. <laughs> What are you laughing at, dude? I'm 225, and maybe I won't get like to 215. 
you know, so that I can kind of like move around a little bit better on the kayak. I don't know. But I do have a trip coming up here in June. I'm excited. I'm going to go with my kids. Every year we decide that we're going to uh, do a trip. Uh, we're going to not do a trip, but at least spend a weekend together. And, you know, there's a lot of meaning behind that. And I'll probably have a show on that. But so, so says, what the fuck are you talking about? Where's, where's the point here? Okay. So, so the point is this. The point is that I, I, I have choices. And, and, and I can choose to live my life and you know, waking up in the morning and worrying about uh, just what I'm going to do that day. I'm going to get out there. I'm going to make some money, come home and buy the, you know, pay the bills and buy the food and do everything I got to do. Right. Um, but I deep down inside think to myself, you know what? I, I got to live for today. I got to live for today in thinking about tomorrow. I got to live for today in thinking about yesterday. He says, what the, how did you just say? Well, if you're not understanding me, smoke one and then come and listen to my show. Because you know, this is going to make a lot of sense. If I worry about today, I worry about what I'm doing right now. What I'm going to get up and I'm going to get up in the morning. I'm going to do that right now. If I don't think about tomorrow, I'm not thinking about taking care of my family. I'm not thinking about what I'm going to do to um, uh, prepare for this trip that's coming up. I don't care about what uh, meetings I have coming up at work and what's going to make me a better um, uh, better city manager. Um, I, I don't think about the future. I'm just thinking about what's going on today. If I don't think about yesterday, I don't think about what the person that I used to be or the person that struggled, the person that went through the things that he went through, uh, uh, then I, I, I kind of don't care what, what, what's going on right now, right? So it, it, it's a balance. I kind of look at both. I kind of listen to both. And I think of it as like throughout the day, I think about all these things. So I see the kayak. So I see the kayak, and and I and I picture this. I don't know how much time I, I got, Vic, but ah, okay. So I see. I, I I look at this. Okay, so I look at my life, and I'm gonna picture my life as uh, a river. Okay, and you know how we got different names, and Victor, you can use this for your team. So this is a nice little team building exercise and a time and it's really good um, inner building uh, mechanism that you can use. So you can call this, you know how we got the Rio Grande River or the Guadalupe or we have the Mississippi or whatever. We can call this the river of life. Wow. Okay. So this is your river of life. Yours. Okay. So you choose to get into that river to see where it takes you, okay? All right. So build your your river. You see, do you think to yourself, okay? It's just like we talked about the obituary, right? But this is about thinking about, okay, so I got a life right now, and what am I going to do with it? Uh, This is what I want to be, okay? So I'm going to be a... uh, marketing rep for a company okay we'll study and take a look at what a marketing rep does uh, what do you do Vic you're like a you work you work for a, a company that works for Airbnb or something right and so um so basically so you take whatever it is that you're gonna do so I'm gonna be a marketing rep I'm gonna be a city manager okay and here I am in this river of life okay so I'm going to choose the mechanism, the vehicle that I'm going to be using to get from one side of the river to the other side of the river. And I'm talking about in distance, not, not just across. I'm talking about actually go through the river and try to make it all the way to the ocean. Because we know rivers always end up to a bigger uh, body of water, right? 
So think about it like that and say to yourself, okay, what is the vehicle that I'm going to use? For me, for the longest time that I practiced this, and I'll tell you what, what, what I was going through at that point in time is I, I, I was going through a separation where I was going to lose my marriage. I was going to lose my son. Uh, and it was important to me. I had already failed. I had already lost a family. And here I go again, losing my son. And uh, I had been through something. And uh, I was given this exercise. So I created my river. I created the river of life. And I chose a kayak for many reasons. One of them was that the kayak that I chose was a kayak that had actually two people that you could have two people in it. Always, you know, thinking at that point in time that I needed my son to be with me. Okay. Um, and then I needed a, a, a vehicle. Uh, in this case, it was a kayak that could maneuver easily, you know, around different obstacles that were going to come. Okay. So, uh, I remember drawing, uh, rocks. I remember drawing, uh, uh, the, the fast rivers, uh, uh, waterfalls. I remember drawing, um, whirlpools, uh, snakes, uh, animals and stuff or crocodiles or whatever. Um, so all these were obstacles that were going to prevent me from reaching my goal. Okay, prevent me from going out there. What are what are the, the, the rocks? What are the whirlpools? What are the those are all the things that are gonna come your way as um as you're going through this river of life. Okay. So what do you need? You need that special vehicle that's gonna take you and maneuver you around. What is that special vehicle? Was this a kayak or it's a big ass boat or what? I chose a kayak because it maneuvers easily maybe because subconsciously i think to myself well maybe you know i'm a simple guy so something simple with the you know with the with the you know, oars and all this shit you know so i was able to kind of get away or use the oars to hit the animals and shit or whatever you know I, whatever the case was that was my thought process right shit you know you could think to yourself you can say i'll just fucking get a speedboat and just get in the speedboat and I'll just get from point A to point B like that. But guess what? That's not reality. Because reality is you're going to hit a fucking rock. And when you hit that rock, that's it. That freaking vehicle's out. So what happens there? Whatever you have planned is over. It's over. Take your time. Take your time. That's why I tell my kids, man. Take your time. Not to rush to get there. Not to rush to get there. Believe me. Believe me, it's, you can turn around, you can say it's a quick, it's a, you know, you can think about it once you're my age and say, damn, man, for, where did all the time go? But I can go back and I can tell you, man, damn, it's, it's a long life. It is. If, if, if you think about things and you think about the things that you've done and whether you can come back and you can talk about them and you can make some sense of them, you can say to yourself, damn, I, I lived a good life. I live a good life, and here I am at the tail end. Shit, I'm not ready yet. You know, I'm still, I still got a few freaking miles there before I hit some rough waters and, and, and uh, uh, a few rocks there. But you know what? Shit, I got, I got my wisdom. I got everything that I learned in the past. And the, you know, the smaller rocks or whatever I went through back there, I've been through them. I'm going to go, and I'm going to pass that. And it's going to be okay. I'm going to be all right. Okay. And so the river of life um, is something that, that is so real. It's so real. It doesn't matter what takes you um, to your goal. Okay. But always think about it. Always think about how fast you want to get there. You want to take your time. Get a rowboat. Shit, get a floaty. But take your time because only and only like that you're going to experience the wonderful things that our life has to give because it's your life. It's your life. And when you start looking at it as your life, that's when um, things start changing. And that's how you can be a better person to everybody else. 
That's how we can make a difference. That's who we can be, who we are. Dale la vuelta y vive. God bless you.